What's going down? Baseball fans, Channel Thor's Thoughts of the Show. We're back. It's McFarlane Toys. It's Lobo. It's our first custom figure. So let's rewind. Four months ago, we did the first Lobo review. You remember it? Mm-hmm. I don't. But we did the first Lobo review. Then, my good friend, super cool, Marcus, um, check out his stuff, supercool.com, super cool on uh, IG, super all over cool the place. Yeah. Really? Yeah. S U P E R Q O O L. Dot com. That's where I got the head from. Then I went to my good buddy, uh, Dave Wheeler, here in Minnesota. Uh, awesome dude, awesome customizer, painter. Go check out his channels. Watch Tiny Ming Tuesday. He actually painted this thing live on his channel on a Tiny Ming Tuesday. So go check that out. We all remember the original head that was on there and the original figure. But here we go. His head got chopped uh, off I actually, this is the first time head. I've taken it out since wow. Dave cut the plastic, put it back in the plastic for me. Uh, did some trimming of the plastic to get it in there, but it actually had it fully in there. And then he did just a magnificent job with this figure. I think he dremeled out the hole a little bit uh, in the bottom because it is just such a clean line all the way around. I love how he did a little bit more blue in the hair than the initial head had. It had the initial head had some blue. He went with a little bit more blue in this one, uh, and I love it. I love it so much. Uh, he even got the eyes, the red of the eyes, and how they're squinting. He's got his removable cigar in there. Um, oh, oh no, oh no, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just lost it. Found it. Found it. All right, come on back. Come on back. All right. Whew. Crisis averted. Oh, oh, thanks to the Alonzi. Um, holy buckets. This thing is tiny. This removable cigar. Which it looks like actually he glued in there, but it broke. Looks like I must think it broke off a little bit. Um, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to re glue that. But, alright, so custom painted cigar. I just have to put a, a dot of super glue on there. I did it. But, yeah, so he painted the cigar that went on there. The head itself is just, like I said, so much better. He did a beautiful job matching the, the face to the body. That was one of the things I wanted was the white face taken out. It? Don't worry about it. It's right here. Don't touch it. It's, it's, it looked like it broke off in there. Like, there was a hole. Oh, my gosh. So there was a hole, and it looks like um, he kind of glued it in um, the hole, and then it broke murdered. off. He got murdered. See? So, no, the first, the first, His look how, look how white the first head is, though. Yeah, that's um, really white. Compared to the, compared to the second head. And it's like, it's a night and day difference. Just, this is, this is the head that this figure should have had. Now, I will say, the cost is now exponentially higher. Everything about the figure remains the same. Like, literally every piece about this figure remained exactly the same as the, this is, this is just the stock version, which I love the body, the, uh, you watch that first review, you can hear me rave about just the look of it, you know, even the, you know, the, the logo or the graphic on the back of the jacket, all that stuff, the knee pads, everything, the spikes, it's, it all, it's all good. It was all good, but the head was the, the thing that bugged me the most. And now having this corrected head really just puts this character, puts this figure to me in a whole different realm. Because number one, it's my first custom. You know, it's my first ever, like, figure where I, I bought it and I was, I wouldn't say dissatisfied with with it, but I just figured, I, I knew I could improve it and I can improve it in, I wouldn't say a cheap way, because uh, it definitely, I, I wouldn't say it was cheap, but I could improve it in a way that was, you know, um, I could improve it in a way that made sense in a way that I think was going to really make it just that much better. And it did. Like, look at that thing. What do you think? Look yeah. at that first head. And then now look at the new head. 
Like, you know Lobo. Why did You've Nick seen... Farland not do that? I don't get it. That's a good. That's a very good question. I mean, I don't know how that producing this head would have been exponentially more expensive. Wait, does Mick Farland than... have to do it fast? Yeah, I mean, but they have they have the ability to produce his heads just as good as that one. Uh, they they do. They have the ability to do that. And I don't like I said. I don't know why the the weird white face choice. It's like he's happy. But he is, and I'm happy because I got an actual custom Lobo that. Now I can go put on the villain shelf with everybody else, and he is should be front and center because he's so badass looking. Honestly, that new head sculpt puts him way up there on my list of McFarland figures. Just at, just as is, I really want to get this. I really want to get this this cigar reattached. Um, but yeah, I think once we glue the cigar yeah, I'll, in, I'll hold it. no, 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 no. Once once we glue the cigar in and. Uh, once we get out this thing all set and re- set it and ready to rock and roll, it's just it's fantastic. Kind of fantastic. Like me. Cool. No, I think he did a really great job on. I mean, Dave Wheeler, dude who painted this head sculpt, did a, an amazing job. The head sculpt from Super Cool was amazing. Then to top it all off, to put it on this really great body that we had, I think just like I said, puts this character in a whole nother stratosphere of Lobo figures. Like you could compare this one to a Storm, I think. And well, I guess after you know all the things, they're, I'm probably right around the same price point as the Storm collectible one with this McFarlane now, out the head and the painting and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I, I don't know. The storm's a little bit bigger. I'd say a little bit of a beefier boy, but this I think is, is my now definitive, obviously Lobo. I don't need another one. Now that I think McFarlane's even making another one. I heard he's making a cycle, which that would be awesome if they made a cycle now. Cause I have What's the Lobo, cycle? like, you know, his space hog, his space motorcycle, oh, yeah. you know, the one you got that drives and the mouth opens up. It wouldn't be like that. It'd be different, but it'd be super cool. Just like where you get the head. Dave Wheeler, thank you, sir. Everyone involved. This custom is amazing. Thank you to everybody. It took a long time, and most of that was just because of me. But it's done. It's awesome. I'm super happy to have it part of my collection. Can't go get it, but if you could, you should. Till the next if one. If you, you know want to get it, then you just call them. Right. You know what to do. You know how to do it. Deuces. Deuces.